Hello and welcome to ubic.com. In this short video we're going to show you how easy it is to create a complete mobile website. What we can see now is the home page of ubic.com and here we can see a selection of sites that have already been created by other users. We can preview any of these sites to get some inspiration for our own mobile site and to get an idea of what's possible to achieve with ubic. When we click on the thumbnails the online emulator window shows up which allows us to navigate through the site and actually see how the site will appear on various different types of mobile phones. From here we can go back to the home page or we can click on the profile link to see more details. But let's create our own site and click on the create your site button. As the first step of the site creation process we're presented with site templates that we can choose from. There's a wide variety of pre-built templates that can be used for personal or family pages, hobbies or event sites, and also for different types of small businesses like restaurants or taxi services. In our case, we're going to create a site for a kid's soccer club. So let's pick a club template and move on to the next step. So now that we've selected our overall site template, we can see that it actually includes a number of predefined and pre-styled page types and we can select from any of these pages to include in our site. So for our soccer club site we're going to include a welcome page, a photo gallery and a contacts page. We can always add additional pages or remove them later on if we wish. Now that we've selected all the pages we want as part of our site, all we need to do now is give our site a name and then click on create site which will create our site that we can start editing and adding our own content into. So now we're in the site editor pages. On the left hand side of the site editor you can see all the pages that were created previously. We have the welcome page, the photo gallery and the contacts. In the middle of the page we have the editing area and here we can enter our own content, add in new images and so on. On the right hand side of the page we have a live preview of what the page would look like on different mobile devices. So let's start editing our content. In order to edit some content, all we need to do is to click on the coloured boxes that represent the different content sections of the page. We can then start entering our own content into the page and it will be shown real time in the preview. So let's enter a different name for the page and apply the changes. We can see the changes are applied and previewed immediately. Now we can also change the images. All we do is we click on the image shown in the editing page select which images we want to upload from our local machine and these will be appear as options that we can include into our pages directly within the editing page. So we select the image we want to include and then we can go on and start editing some text as well. So we'll change the text using the text editor and here we have full control over all the styling of that text so we can add bold, italics and so on. OK, so that's our first page done. So let's move on to the other pages and start editing those and adding in our own content. So first of all let's click on the photo gallery page and start editing the description text for that. Now click on the gallery and I'll start uploading some additional images. Now you'll notice that as we're uploading those images, they automatically appear within the gallery. Now you can see that the previous images that we'd uploaded to the system are already there and available for us to select from. And when we look at the preview over on the right hand side of the page, we can see that the images have automatically been resized so that they fit the preview device. I'm now going to customize this gallery page even further by adding in a large image above the general photo gallery. In order to do this, we click on Customize just at the top of the editing area. And here we can add in various sections within the page. In our case, we're going to add in another image. And we'll drop it in just above the gallery. So we've, now we've added the new section into this page, we can just click on Upload Image. 
and add in the new image above the gallery. And you can see on the right hand side the preview is updated immediately. So that's the gallery page finished. Let's move on to our last page, the contacts page, and we'll change the image that appears here. We can edit all the text that appears above the contact links, specify the links themselves. We can link to other pages and even email and even add in cell phone numbers so visitors can directly dial the numbers from their phone. And that's the contacts page done. So we're just about there with our site. I think what we'll do is we'll just add one more page, a messages page. So in order to do this we just click on add page and then we can choose from the available options that we saw earlier. So here we're going to choose the messages page, give it a name, just called leave message, and then go through the same process that we did for the other pages just by editing the text, changing the images and so on. Now the messages page template is actually a form where users can enter in a message and send it to the specified email. So the site's pretty much there, uh, but I think the colors could do with some tweaking. So let's go and change them using the change theme option. We can select from all the themes available, and each one consists of different colors and styling. We can either choose one of the preset ones or we can go in and change each part of the page individually, changing the colours and so on from the colour chooser at the bottom of the page. For now I quite like the Neon Night theme, so we'll choose that, apply it to our site and carry on. So now we have a fairly complex site, but before we go ahead to the final step in the process and publish it, we can review how it's going to look on different devices. If we click on Show Mobile Preview, at the bottom of the right hand side you can see there's a selection of different devices and if we click on those it re-renders our site according to the capabilities of each one of those different types of phones. Now in the preview we can also navigate around our site so we can check that it's functioning correctly and you'll also notice that the gallery page particularly is re-rendered and restructured according to the size of the screen for that particular class of device. So now we're happy with our preview and it all seems to be working quite well, let's go ahead and publish the site. And you'll notice that so far we didn't have to sign in, but in order to publish and make the site live we do need to be signed in, so we can either sign up for a new account now or just log in with an existing ID that we've already created. After signing in we're presented with the publish screen. So now we hit the publish button. We wait a few seconds while our entire site is uploaded to the live servers. And then we're done. So now we can immediately look at our mobile website using a real browser and this is going through across the internet to the actual site that we've just published and we can either look at this from our PC just from with a browser window or look at it with a real mobile phone just by typing in that URL directly into your handset. Now we've created our website and published it onto the internet we can also let our friends and customers know about this new site just announcing the fact that our site has been created or even just updated so we created a new one, so let's announce the new site. And as a very final step, we can now go to the dashboard where we can preview all of our sites that we've created and choose to perform further edits on them uh, and manage them as we wish. So in this short video, we've seen how easy it is in just a few steps we can build a great mobile site with Ubic. Thank you for watching.